Welcome to Katie Did Reviews. This episode will be about the new comic from Marvel, S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. And it is going to be the same characters from the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, Phil Coulson, Melinda May, Leo Fitz, and Gemma Simmons will be in this comic. It was a uh, for $99 comic, um, which is going to be a dollar more expensive than their average comics, I was okay with spending that because my local comic book store gave me a poster, a free poster with the purchase of it for their launch party for this comic, and it is the Scotty Young variant that this shield number one comes, you could get with. And I really enjoy Scotty Young's artwork, so I was happy to get that. This S.H.I.E.L.D. series will most likely be focused on Coulson, who is technically the main character of the TV show as well. I really enjoy the background that it gives on Coulson. The only issue I maybe had with it was it may not fall along with the rest of what 616 Universe, because... It does have a moment, this will be a spoiler review, where they have Coulson at S.H.I.E.L.D. when he's 25, and I don't know for sure that he had joined, because I think in Battle Scars, when uh, Nick Fury Jr. joined S.H.I.E.L.D. and Coulson came along in with him, that they would have been older than that. But I could be wrong, and that the continuation from uh, 616, to keep it in universe is correct and there wasn't an issue there that would be my only minor thing or else and even if that's off i'm okay with it i'm gonna let that go because i don't think they had planned on giving colson his own sh comic and i'm excited that they did the writer is going to be merc raid and i enjoy his work and he does a really good job of portraying colson the way he in my mind should be betrayed. Um, Coulson's mainly been in Secret Avengers that I've been reading, and Alex Knott writes him okay, but he's never quite the Coulson I think he should be, but that could also be, I haven't read the the final or the last, it's still an ongoing series, Secret Avengers, and so it may end up being that he's playing some part or something, so... We'll have to wait and see if I'm just being too early of a judgmental on that. But it's still good comics, so you should check that out if you enjoy this one. The artwork is quite exceptional. This is just one of the splash pages. And what this deals with is that Coulson has gotten a new job title as of today. He is S.H.I.E.L.D. Special Ops Supreme Commander Phil Coulson. And what that means is that he is the person responsible for knowing everything about everyone, and then he would know what teams need to be put together, or what people can maybe do something that combined could accomplish a task no one else thinks they could get done. And they show him from an early age being obsessed with the superheroes. He knows everything about them, such as in this one, he was captured and he is listing the, all of the X-Men in the order that they joined, which was quite an interesting thing and quite impressive. And then that he's winning at poker because he knows everyone's tell of the superheroes. And I really enjoyed the line of, it's nice when uh, your uh, passion becomes your work. Or you can tell that the writer does get Coulson and he agrees with him. Now, I wanted to say something about the artwork and the person who does the letters, the letterers. I really enjoyed, they have Fitz, they have Fitz talking to uh, two unknown characters and... He asks her if she's the new Thur because she's blonde. And you don't find out until later who they are, but it's not the new Thur. 
and she's got a uh, little ice crystals to say that he froze her out with just the word no. That was just an amazing attention to detail, in my opinion. But it will be, ex it's an exciting comic. It uh, kind of shows how Phil Coulson is useful in one of, in this kind of a situation. Um, trying to decide how much I want to spoil, but so what's happening is it appears that all of the realms of Asgard or of all of the realms are falling into earth because the rainbow bridge is broken and no longer being girded. And so Phil Coulson has to go and try to get the sword back and free Heimdall from the people holding him captive, only it turns out to be a issue because the sword is in someone else's hands, which means he needs the two best swordsmen in the world, and he brings Valkyrie, who's one of my personal favorite characters, and the Black Knight. Now, I had never read anything with the Black Knight before, and it got me interested in reading that. So they then will work on fleeing him, but once they free him, they find out that Heimdall is not Heimdall and someone else is in control of him. And so then you have this amazing splash page with the female Thur as well, and I was excited to see her because I'm currently reading that comic. And so you have Phil Coulson who orchestrates an event to get control and is able to trick Heimdall and free him from his, uh, the mind control he's under. It doesn't really explain what it is, but Heimdall's very impressed with him. And then you get a epilogue where Maria Hill, who is the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Melinda May talking about Coulson and that uh, he was very excited to uh, get the compliment and that he was and Maria is saying it's his first day and he's already saved the world once. Um, I enjoyed the little Fitz humor at the bottom where Coulson's gonna give him his monkey if he gets two more good at two more amazing events, and then Gemma is doing her uh, tech work, and she looks happy. You didn't really get a whole lot from Fitz and Simmons this episode, or this issue, but I really did enjoy it. And then in the back of the comic is going to be a little comic done by Joe Casita. And it's going to be about Fitz and his monkey, artificial monkey. And it was quite cute and humorous. And then I'm really excited for the second issue, which will feature Miss Marvel, who is one of my favorite ongoing series at this time. So overall, if you're a fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you'll be able to read this without needing to really know anything especially if you're watching the movies from uh, Marvel Studios. So, and it's a good uh, jump on point because you'll get to meet different characters and see if you're interested in any of them, like uh, Valkyrie or the Black Knight or uh, uh, Captain America or Iron Man or Hulk. They all kind of get a little moment in time. Or uh, Luke Cage has where he talks to Coulson at one point for the upcoming Netflix series. Overall, it is an excellent issue. I would rate this either a 5 out of 5 stars or a 4 out, out of 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I think the artwork works really well with the issue. It's going to be appealing to almost everyone, I think. I like the coloring of it. The only issue I really did have was the Fern 99 $4.99 price tag. I don't really think comics should be $5, but like I said, it helped that I got this freebie 
poster with it, and yeah, I'm sure the poster really isn't worth that much, but the dollar, it's worth a dollar to me, so overall, it was a good comic, and I will be looking forward to reading issue number two next month, and if you don't have a local comic book store, you can already pre-order this from the different websites and get them, um, the trade paperback. The other option you may want to think about is Marvel does sell them, where you could have them mailed to you from Marvel, or you can, of course, get them digitally. And then this does have the digital code, code with it as well. So give this a try if you have any interest in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or uh, the upcoming Agent Carter. Um, and I will be picking up the Agent Carter comic that will be coming out soon, which is Operation Sin, number one. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave any comments or uh, suggestions of what you'd like me to review or questions. Thank you.